Hey guys, and welcome back to the show. So throughout the course of this mini series, we have been referring to something called global speed modifier. Now we haven't been doing anything with it. I believe our controller just initializes it to one, which means the game is staying at that speed until the user makes a mistake, which isn't really fun. We want things to speed up. We want it to look exactly like Google's version of this uh, infinite runner. So in this video, we're going to be incrementing it by some small amount per step which as time goes by, the game will get faster and faster and faster, meaning the user can grab a, a really good amount of points um, later on. So if he's playing for a good five minutes, he's going to be getting points faster per second at that time than when he started. Obviously, it's going to be harder because the objects coming towards him are also going to be like approaching him at that speed. Um, if I open up Obstacle again, we'll see the speed of the object is moving to the left 20 times the global speed modifier. So when the instance is created, Currently, it only goes exactly 20, but now it's going to be like 21, 22 as the speed and time goes on. Speed's going to increase 23, 24, 25 until it gets really unbearable. While we're doing this, let's also bring about the concept of a score. Um, we're going to be using the game maker's reserved score keyword. And uh, it's also going to be using the speed modifier. So as things get harder, as things move faster, the score is going to be accumulated quite nicely. So in our controller, Let's go ahead and add a step event over there. Let's say for every step, the global dot speed modifier is going to increase by something really, really small, 0 0.0005. Now, if we're doing 30 times a second, it's going to be 30 times this amount increased per second, which is really cool. So that's why this amount is so small. And then also, let's get our score and increment that by one times the global speed modifier. Simple as that, really cool stuff. Now in our current draw GUI, I believe we just draw the game over uh, sprite in the middle. What we're gonna do is uh, two things. We're gonna be drawing the score in the top right of the screen. And then also we're going to be drawing to the center just the speed so we can actually see it incrementing over time. Um, that's something that won't make it into the final game. But it's always good to just see that our logic is working quite nicely. So we're going to say draw set color. And let's go for make. Oh, we're going for American color, red, green, blue. 83, 83, 83. Very good. I'm going to draw set font. FNT main, which doesn't exist just yet. We will bring it into existence in a second. Then uh, this is the one that's going to be drawing the, the speed. I'm going to go for draw text. Um, I'm going to say the room, uh, this is x width divided by 2. So center this by room width divided by 2. Oh, sorry, it's supposed to be height. And then lastly, it's going to be the string of our, love that. Shows you exactly what you've got going on, which is really awesome. The global speed modifier. And then let's draw our score. So draw text also. This is all in a, a draw GUI, by the way. So it's not going to move with uh, anything in the room. It's going to be static. Uh, this is going to be the room width. Um, and let's minus 100. So it's going to be 100 pixels from the right-hand border. And it's going to be 10 pixels from the top, because remember, X and Y is calculated from the top left, so that's zero, zero. And then here we want to say string score. So the score is the value from this step. Okay, are we missing anything? Yes, we are. One closing brace. So let's go ahead and create uh, this font main. Simply create font, give it the same name, FNT main. Uh, I think I was going to go for courier new. There it is. Let's say 22 or maybe 25 and definitely bold. Yeah, there we go. All right, so let's save this. We actually don't need to do anything other than those. So let's test this out and see what happens. Okay, so a problem. Ah, yes, that's supposed to be main. Perfect, go again. All right, look at that, 1.04. And the top right, we've got 100 points. 200 points, it's going up nicely. I think we've got that increment spot on. 1.2 times. Let's see if we can actually get to like two times before we wipe out. 
and then the objects should be moving towards us at about 40 pixels per step. See, things are actually increasing in speed quite no noticeably now. 1.5, 1,000 points. It's getting a little rough. One point seven, two thousand points nearly. There we go, two thousand. I mean, it's still quite playable. We um, we won't actually crash into any of these um, unless we blink at the wrong time or or make a really silly mistake. But it seems to be quite playable still. So we could probably even get this up to maybe three times before things start to really, really, really get out of control. Okay, cool. So that about wraps up this idea. And that's how we can go about implementing implementing that speed modifier. Oh, well, that was close. And also getting our high score. So if you found this tutorial educational helpful, please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you like what I'm doing here, please check out my Patreon. I really do appreciate your support. Project files for this video can be found in the description. If you have any cool ideas of what we can do to this dinosaur to make him really stand out and become our own, Please let me know. I'm looking forward to that. Um, oh, there we go. I hit it at 5,297 uh, points. Wow, that was quite incredible. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.